The Chinese government says it will allow companies in key sectors to resume production in Shanghai in a bid to lighten the blow the citywide lockdown is forecast to have on global supply chains. But President Xi Jinping's zero COVID measures remain an immense challenge to other countries. And there are concerns Beijing's policy will have a long-lasting ne negative impact on South Korea's export-driven economy. Min suk reports. Shanghai is on track to resume production after the Chinese government announced plans to help key industries get back to business in its commercial hub. Around 600 companies in the semiconductor, automobile and medical sectors will resume operations. But some say starting production lines in Shanghai will not be easy as it still remains difficult to bring workers to factories due to lockdowns. An added problem is that China's strict zero-COVID measures have also expanded to other regions, including the Jiangsu province. About 22.8 percent of total Chinese imports come from Jiangsu province and around 16.5 percent from Shandong province, which is much larger than the imports from Shanghai. And in the case of Guangdong province, it is about 12 percent. So if COVID-19 spreads around there, the actual effect on us would be even greater. Not to mention, China's lockdowns have already hit the auto industry and it's not the only sector to be affected. South Korea is heavily dependent on Chinese imports, particularly in batteries and chips. So if productions in production lines were to continue, there would be a ripple effect on South Korea's economy as inventories of raw materials are running low. Min Suk-hyun, Arirang News.